to the solar plexus. Right. Okay, this is another chakra that I think a lot of us are working on in this lifetime. It's a pretty important one. So that one's located an inch or two above the belly button, kind of between halfway between the sternum and the belly button right here. This is your center of personal power, manifestation, uh, strength, willpower, gut level instinct, that sort of thing. Um, the color is traditionally yellow. The glands can be the adrenals or even the, the, the pancreas. The, the, and then also, um, if you're having some kind of an imbalance or blockage here at the solar plexus, it can translate as a lack of confidence, a lack of self-esteem, difficulties manifesting your heart's desire. Um, if it's an overdrive, you might be a little bit dominating or misusing your power. Also shame, shame can live here. Um, as well as this is an area where we can store our stress. Um, physically speaking, this is your center of digestion. So any kind of digestive upset or disorder, food problems, weight gain, diabetes, even skin problems and metabolism, liver and kidney problems and arthritis um, can all show up here. So let me talk about one of my favorite stones of all, which is citrine. <laughs> This is my favorite citrine. In fact, I don't think that I would be a crystal healer today if it wasn't for this exact citrine, because the moment I realized that I wanted to be a crystal healer, I realized I needed a big influx of money so that I could go to Hawaii and get trained. And I would also need to like not have my job anymore. <laughs> so I sat down with this big guy and I just like, I got so clear, I was so clear, and I just told the universe, I don't know how this can happen, but I need a big windfall of money in my lap, and it happened, it happened, and I just quit my job, and I, I became a crystal healer, so these are wonderful manifestation stones. Um, what did you do, win the lottery? <laughs> I didn't win the lottery. <laughs> uh, it was like oil and gas stuff, but uh, okay. on some family land that right. all of a sudden worked out. So... What happens with this stone, it's like the sun. It's so life-giving and warm and radiant and happy. And it, it's filled with positive energy. And when you're around a citrine, you can't help but smile. And it moves you into this vibrational space of abundance um, in just such a clear way. And this is, has a long time association with prosperity and abundance. But this stone can help you to manifest whatever it is that your heart desires, whether it's greater health, new relationships, new opportunities, um, you name it. DNA um, activation. DNA activation. <laughs> Actually, yes, because this stone would be a good activator. It's, it's definitely an activator. So sure, you could work with it for DNA activation, whatever it is that your heart desires. Now, one of the ways it works is that it, it has a powerful cleansing effect. So it's going to cleanse and clear and purify anything negative, any negative emotions and thoughts, anything that's holding you back from being happy. Um, just like the sun burns away clouds, this will burn away any clouds in your consciousness and in your aura. Um, and the other good thing about it is because it belongs to the quartz family, it can be programmed. Uh, so when you program a crystal, it's like you place your intentions, your affirmations, what it is that you're wanting to create into the crystalline matrix where it is stored. And then the crystal will actually amplify your intention and create a magnetic force for drawing these things into your life. Citrine is one of the best ones for this activity. Um, in addition to that, if you are trying to make lifestyle changes uh, that might require some willpower, this is a good stone for you. Like right now, I'm working on my diet and I'm doing a lot of dietary changes. So this one is going to boost your strength and your willpower. It's going to help you stay on track and it'll help to clear any self-destructive tendencies you might have and also some residual emotions that might be getting in the way. Um, anger, depression, fear, all of that, poof, gone. Um, this stone also can make you less sensitive to negative influences in your environment, um, which is very helpful. So I just love citrine, uh, one of my all-time favorite stones. But then I do want to talk about another one that's a little bit more unusual that I think you guys might appreciate. That's before, Libyan before you, old... Mm -hmm. out. Before you get there, just a quick comment here on... Mm -hmm. I think you'll dig this and I'm sorry to interrupt, but I, no worries. I, I think you'll dig the comment. Um, oh, where did it go? Uh, sugar. Oh, here it is from Stephanie Allen. She goes, Oh my God, 
when she just twirled that citrine, I got a full body rush. Woo! <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Maybe I have to do it so, again. Okay. Yeah. Feel the power of the citrine, everybody. Everybody put your wishes in it right now. It's going to help you manifest what you want. This is a really good one. <laughs> awesome. So Thank you. So making it available. Here you go. Yeah. Awesome. I yeah. love that. That's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, that All was right. sweet. So, yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah, that's a very special, special citrine. Uh, but yeah, so I was going to move on to Libyan gold tektite. Okay, so look at this thing. Um, this glassy material formed as the result of a meteorite crash that happened in the Sahara Desert, you know, a long, long time ago. And this meteorite crash happened in the areas of Libya and ancient Egypt. And so the ancient Egyptians recognized that there was power in this stone. And in fact, King Tut was buried with one of these. It was a necklace uh, that was carved into the shape of a scarab beetle. And that's what he was buried in. So this is a tektite. So it's got that extraterrestrial kind of an energy with it. It's kind of got a, a blend of extraterrestrial energy and earth material. As such, it has a vibration that's really high and fast and strong and easy to feel as heat and tingling, kind of like the stone moldavite. Um, so for some people, it's a little bit intense. But this stone is wonderful because it can activate and clear any chakra where it's placed. So you could use this over any chakra to blow it wide open and to clear it out. And it also is going to strongly energize all of the systems of the body. So it's a highly energizing stone. Now it is associated with rapid manifestation, sometimes almost instant manifestation. Um, also with personal power and getting in touch with your own inner royalty. And that's quite a mindset because think about it. If you're up on your throne and you're the queen of the universe and you want something, all of a sudden you just like wave your arms and then boom, a bunch of people scramble and make something happen for you. Uh, you don't ever worry. You know that whatever you want, it's coming to you. This stone kind of puts you into that mindset where you, you know you can have it. Um, this is also a great one for those of us who might have problems with boundaries. That's me. Sometimes I have a hard time saying no. Um, this stone is going to encourage you to set healthy boundaries and to say no to situations or invitations or people that might drain you or negatively affect you. So if you've got problems setting boundaries, work with this. Now they recommend that you work with Libyan gold tektite in meditation or any rituals that you're doing in order to manifest a specific outcome in your 3D life. So um, just like citrine, it has a quartz content. It's this glassy material. So it can be programmed uh, with what it is you want to manifest. Or you could even just write down a list of what you're manifesting, activate my codons, whatever it is, place yes. this on top of the list and like let it do its magic. So this is a really fun one. The other thing I wanna say is that it can also um, boost your psychic abilities. And it's a great one to place at the third eye because you can meditate with it. And it's supposed to be a key to um, connecting with the Akashic records. And especially if you're interested in ancient Egypt or any lifetimes you may have had then, or if you're interested in connecting with the extraterrestrial beings. Um, who were prevalent in ancient Egypt. So like the Syrians, the, the, the beings from Orion, maybe the Hathors, right? This can uh, create a resonance with those beings. So this is a really fun one. It seems like it's bringing in extraterrestrial DNA as well, because it's, it is coming from, you know, out there. It, exactly. You know, yeah. so it's bringing that cosmic infusion down and grounding it into earth material. So I think it's a really fascinating one. And I just wanted to share that one with you guys in case it's a new one to you. That was, and people are digging it. Um, and okay, cool. Yeah, everyone's digging that. Uh, once again, to a shout out to Phil Christopher. Thank you for the super chat. Phil is saying, I love Adrian Goff saying hi from an earth keeper. So. Oh, hi. Yeah. Love the earth keepers. They're my people. <laughs> yes. I got a question though about, let's see, citrine. You mentioned yes. that it's uh, it's from the quartz family and it can be programmed. Does yes. that also include the Libyan gold tektite? Is that in that family? Yes. The programmable um, yes. family? It is. Okay. It is. Um, because there's a quartz content in the sand that mm -hmm. fused together to create it. 
Right. So it has the proper molecular structure to be able to hold a program because of the quartz content. Okay. And that's wonderful because that's what I do with my, um, these tie dye shirts that I have. I, I put some yeah. of the CSDT sand into the dye bottle and uh, then I make, mix and mix the dye and I dye the shirts, but I also put the intentions of, uh, you know, uh, positive intentions uh, and Ho'oponopono, you know, which you know, you know what that is, right? I'm yes, sorry. Thank you. Please forgive me. I love you. I put that, that into the shirt as well. So I'm programming each and every one of these shirts to be yeah, just like magical. Clothes. Yeah. That's, like, that's a breakthrough in fashion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> quantum, quantum <laughs> clothing. Quantum clothing. That's yeah. brilliant. I'm so glad you're offering that. That's amazing. And the, the sand over there. You know oh, it. <laughs> I know it. I wish I was yeah. there right now. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, it's, kind of, it's, it's kind of chilly here right now, but I don't care if it's cold or not. That means right. easier parking. <laughs> there you go. It's cold here too, for some reason. I don't understand. But mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that was it for questions I had. Let me check the chat room real quick and see if anyone had any sure. questions for this. These comments. Adrian is very sweet, said Scotty boy. Aw. I'm telling you. If you didn't know her, you'll love her. I'm, I'm, did I lie? Of course not. Adrian's amazing. Oh, that would and make just it this, my day. <laughs> this is just a comment from Paul. I've been highly drawn to citrine for as long as I can, re can remember. It calls me every time I'm around it anywhere. So it's, it's a pretty powerful stone. Oh, uh, the thing I wanted to ask too, because you were talking about these programmable stones. What stones are not programmable? Um, yeah, a lot of stones really are because almost, okay, so the quartz family is the one that I know for sure you can program. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll talk, let me just talk a little bit about that. And this information is coming from James Tiburon and he is the founder of the Earth Keepers and his, he's the geologist and he's a wonderful mentor. So here's my understanding based on his information. Um, and his information is coming from Marcel Vogel. So Marcel Vogel is that amazing scientist who um, was an IBM scientist and he created the nice Vogel cut crystals that's like Atlantean technology. So what Marcel Vogel had to say is that in the, in the crystalline structure of quartz, there are occasionally missing silicate atoms. It's called the missing lattice theory. And because of that, um, anything that has a quartz content the little uh, missing spaces in there act as a black hole that can actually store indefinitely the energy of your intentions. So it has to do with the molecular structure of quartz. And so the quartz family is a huge family, right? So it's not just the clear quartz crystals that you think of. We have quartz, um, amethyst, citrine, smoky quartz, all of the jaspers, there's a million different kinds of jaspers. The carnelian I just had up there is a kind of agate. All of the different kind of agates, all of these I know for sure can hold um, your intentions and thoughts. Um, and so anything else, I don't know. It's possible that they might could too. I just, I'm not 100% sure that they can. You're going to want to go through and read the chat room comments because everybody's discussion about you. They love you. <laughs> 